Hey everyone, welcome. Today let's talk about concealer. I recently tried out the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. It's a very long name for a very tiny package. And I wanted to give this one a review because I saw some like interesting reviews like on Ulta and stuff whenever I was looking and I just wanted to give my perspective on what it was like to use this product. So my rating system here is thumbs up or thumbs down. Would I have purchased this product if I had seen this review before buying it? And for me, this product is a thumbs up. I really like this and it is probably the best of all the concealers that I have tried lately. And I feel like there's a little maybe like misconception around it or something. So first off, let's just get into that. This does have like the squeeze, you know, kind of tube on it with the doe foot applicator. And I saw a lot of reviews saying that the package was like empty. There was like very little product in it. And I got to looking at it and actually this has 0.23 fluid ounces or seven milliliters of concealer in here versus the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which doesn't say on here, but I believe when I looked it up, it was like 0.203. So this actually has a little bit less in it. And then I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect, which has 0.17 fluid ounces. And so it has five milliliters. So both of these are actually smaller than this one. So I'm not really sure like what is going on with that because I feel like perhaps the issue is that people just assume maybe you start using it for a while and the doe foot starts coming out a little bit less loaded with product. But the great part is, is that it squeezes. So you can actually put the doe foot in here and like squeeze and really get every last drop of product. Now as to how it wears, it claims to be full coverage. I personally don't think it's full coverage and I'm wearing this concealer today and I feel like you can still see a little shadow of darkness, but I'm used to it. It happens with literally every single concealer. I don't think I've really used a concealer that claims to be full coverage that covers literally every part of my dark circles. So I'm used to it. Take that for what you will. You can see in the before and after pictures the the amount of coverage that I get and this is before powdering this is just strictly with no concealer and then concealer directly over the top with nothing else added to it so if that is an effect that you're okay with then you might really like this concealer for me I always do powder my concealer because I do wear powder foundation just trying this out without putting foundation over it it does set it doesn't remain tacky but you do have to give it a few minutes to really set down I don't feel like it creases throughout the day, even without powdering it. Just whenever I've done like wear tests and stuff, I still do have like tiny little, you know, like kind of diagonal lines under my eyes that I feel like a lot of people have. But in terms of it just like creasing just on the smooth parts of my under eyes, no, I don't think that it does that. So I do feel like it performs well. It's just not full coverage, which I'm personally okay with. I would rather have a little bit less cakiness and a little bit more imperfection show through because I just feel like personally, that's what I'm enjoying most lately. But again, take this review for what you will, take in all the information and decide for yourself whether the pros and cons are something that you would be okay with or not okay with. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you make a decision on whether you would wanna purchase this product. If you guys buy groceries, definitely check out our other channel, Five Minute Eats. I will link it down below. We just review everyday grocery store items and tell you thumbs up or thumbs down. Would we repurchase those products? If you guys enjoyed this video while you were watching, give it a like, drop me a comment down below, and definitely subscribe if you are new here. Bye.